Our next bout of the afternoon is an elimination Muay Thai bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the super lightweight division. Out of the blue corner, Killian Tolliard. Muay Thai action up for the first time this afternoon. Oh, little Muay Thai. Little Muay Thai, yes indeed. You know, I have to say we've not had a finish on this card. True enough. Maybe this will be it. The reverse broadcaster jinx, you know, he has missed a free throw all season. <laughs> all right, so with Muay Thai action, stronger emphasis on knee strikes and leg kicks. Uh, elbow strikes are allowed. We see the guys coming out Pad with their up. elbow pads on. You are allowed to do a little more neck wrestling and clinching. As long as there's action in the clinch, they'll let the fight continue. Sweeps, reaps, and kicks to the lower legs in order to take your opponent down, not allowed. What's coming up here for Fight Night 16, Counter-Strike, February 24th? Sparta 102, March 2nd, Queens of Sparta. More excitement on the horizon. The traditional garb. Making his way into the ring, Killian, the killer Tollard. Apex Combat Academy, Inglewood, Colorado. Killer. No need for the thriller. I'm the killer. <laughs> Out of the red corner, Austin Haverkamp. Pound for pound, I believe. Yes, Austin Havencamp representing the Pound for Pound Muay Thai Academy. Congratulations to the Pound for Pound fight team. I have a world champion in Raquel Pennington, won the UFC title. Yes. First Colorado born native to win a UFC title. All right, Killian uh, Tollard, 19 years old, five feet, 11 inches tall, 135 pounds, this himself is a technical fighter with a two and four record. Facing off against Austin Havencamp. He's even younger at 18 years old. Five feet, seven inches tall. Also made the weight limit of 135. A zero and one record for the freestyle fighter. Might be Havencamp, but we'll see what Stewie says. I'm sorry, did I say Havencamp? Yeah, he, I think it's Haver, isn't it? The, the, my mistake. A little smudge on my glasses. Well, that's You're right, Haver Camp. Well, Listen, I make enough of them that every now and then when you make one, I got to say something. <laughs> You're going to a live show with uh, 24 fights. We're going to have some bubbles <laughs> from time to time. We try to have more good lines than bad ones. Let's go with that. Stu smiling at us like, yeah, good luck, guys. Said you're full of it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an elimination Muay Thai bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the super lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue sports stable blue corner. He's a technical style fighter with a record of two wins and four losses. Standing five foot, 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 135.3 pounds with Apex from Inglewood, Colorado, Julian the Killer. Taller! Fighting out of the Endurance General Contracting Red Corner. He's a freestyle fighter making his debut. Standing five foot, seven inches tall. He weighed in at 135 pounds. With pound for pound Muay Thai from Denver, Colorado, Austin Haberker. I think we've seen him in other disciplines. Yeah is where we get that name. And it's funny when you when Killian the Killer Tollard was introduced, there was not a lot of emotion there. <laughs> In the corner of Haven Camp, Haver Camp, excuse me again. 
Uh, Mr. Justin Houghton, former Bellator fighter. Yep. Now coach of UFC fighters. Coach of men. And women. Raquel's coach. Nice leg kicks to start it off. Taller eats a couple of hard yeah. shots, tries to come with the crossing elbow. Three lefts in a row by Haverkamp. Beautiful high kick by Tollard, but Haverkamp had his guard in place. Yep. Haverkamp with a nice side kick as well. In Muay Thai, 12 to 6 elbow or, or uh, ceiling to floor elbow is allowed. And we just saw Tollard throw one of those while they were clinched. Interestingly enough, not allowed in MMA. No. Pretty side kicks. Solid leg kick by Haverkamp. Haverkamp doing a good job keeping that guard high, and it's a good thing because Taller is came throwing in. those head yeah, kicks. Yeah, and he came down with that elbow, too. Body shot. Taller with a couple of elbows there. He was waiting for Haverkamp yeah. to close in. Tollard wanted to slice him up with the elbows. Body shot. Nice low kick scores again for Haverkamp. Haverkamp starting to, pull, was starting to pull ahead as the busier of the two. Yeah, I think so too. And again, a close in elbow by Tollard. Yeah. Taller than that close in elbows. Oh, close knees, knees to the thigh are nasty. Spiking knees. Good sweep. I mentioned in uh, certain types of throws you're not allowed to do. That was a legal strike. Right. So Muay Thai, interesting with the rules and what types of Throws and sweeps are and are not allowed, but that style was okay. You can't grapevine the leg, you can't step across the body, no judo type throws, certainly no MMA style takedown right. reaching for the leg. Having a world champion, that's nice. Training one, first one out of Colorado, I remember saying that, I remember hearing it. Well, you and I've talked about it quite extensively, how much great training there is in yep. Colorado. World champs certainly proved that to be the case. Both fighters looking energized coming out for the second round. Tollard with a spinning back fist. Yeah, he did that in answer to the leg kick because that leg kick started to turn him around. He just flowed with it. Haverkamp hit him with a big left. And, oh, nasty leg kick. Very damaging. Oh, that might be enough. Tollard might not be able oh, to get up. I don't oh. know if he hurt his knee. Oh. Uh, I, I think his knee is injured. He's going to let him go. And wisely going oh. right back to it. Oh, oh that looks painful, man. Oh, my gracious. He can barely bear weight on that. Can't That's going to be it. Yeah. Wow. Hey, we talked about a finish. The, the there guts, it is. The guts he showed to get up from the first one. Brought himself up twice, and then the referee waved yeah. it off. Yeah, no no quitting oh. that young man. I don't know if it was a knee injury or if he just uh, crushed I, the nerve on the leg, and it, what happens then is you can't uh, bear weight on the leg. Right, and I think I'm leaning more towards the nerve because I was looking at his knee. I didn't see a lot of okay. twisting of the knee, JR. I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. <laughs> but when you look at the impact of the, I, I think it's nerve. It's just beautiful, but, beautiful and, and, pinpoint striking by Haverkamp. Yeah, see, that's where, where people that don't know Muay Thai very much don't see the, how savage it can be. I mean, that was nasty. Yeah, they're putting the ice on the on the outside of the quad, not on the knee. So just Haverkamp able to target that 
femoral nerve and it shuts down the signal going to the lower part of your leg and then when you put weight on it it just collapses under you and we see we've seen it happen in the ufc oh, yeah. many times oh yeah all right stewie has the word ladies and gentlemen reverie oscar martinez calls us after this about 37 seconds into the second round declaring your winner by tko austin Hamilton. all right well pound for pound fitness has a World champion in the UFC and a winner tonight. It's super lightweight Muay Thai. Mr. Haverkamp, congratulations, sir.